because of the fact that uh, if I if I misplace the rules, I shall be brought to order. <laughs> but uh, on behalf of the parliamentarians for global action, on my own behalf, I would like to express our most profound gratitude and thanks to Madame and her husband. Uh, for affording or offering us this opportunity to share a very good meal with you this evening. And then it was a surprise for us when we had notice of this meal, this invitation. And uh, we clearly said we were going to take advantage of it, and we have not been disappointed. That's right. Uh, <laughs> on our way here, we got lost somewhere along the line. <laughs> and uh, we, we even were predicting that we were not going to spend more than an hour here. But clearly, if you look at the time, that is evidence. In, in Ghana, traditionally, there is this saying that it is good and palatable food that draws the, the table and the chair together. <laughs> we thank you for this opportunity. Uh, like, it is proverbially known in certain parts of East Africa. At the appropriate time, we shall also retaliate. <laughs> Now, we, we want to also express gratitude to uh, my friend and colleague and, and senior colleague, uh, the Deputy Senate President, for accepting our invitation to participate in our two-day forum. In fact, his presence has made some difference. And he's just been hinting me about some good news that is coming the way of PGA. Oh. So even before the news arrives, mm -hmm. we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, we are at the tail end of our program. And tomorrow will be the International Council meeting at which uh, a number of positions will be up for contest, including the position of the presidency. Uh, I am confident that we will be able to choose somebody who would replace me and who would continue with whatever uh, programs that we have initiated or commissioned to do ourselves. Now, uh, in all this, we certainly will be counting on the enormous support of Nigeria. And we look forward with hope into the future that with the presence of Nigeria effectively in PGA, uh, we shall go from strength to strength. And when I talk of strength, it is two dimensional mm -hmm. <laughs> the numbers and the finance. Yeah. <laughs> Well, on behalf of our group again, we wish everybody here who is traveling from tomorrow, traveling messes, safe journey, and we certainly will meet again. And for our distinguished hosts, mm -hmm. we shall come back. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Tremendous hospitality of our dear lady, who happens to be my sister in Ireland. I think also that uh, it is appropriate that we listen to the Deputy Senate President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is officially the leader of the Nigerian delegation to this forum. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, Your Excellencies, as a member of the 
parliamentarians for global action once our president speaks we will just concur <laughs> however like the last speaker spoke when we are here we are indeed in nigeria because this is nigeria's house but let me quickly say that uh, yesterday when the ambassador told me that uh, after a day's hard work she would want us to come here to socialize and to have a cocktail indeed she said i did not expect that she was going to be well prepared for not just a cocktail but uh, a very sumptuous uh, meal or sumptuous meal but above all i think she's done something that i'm well pleased with i must say ambassador so that uh, i can now say you are qualified to say you are uh, an ambassador in whom i'm well pleased with. <laughs> <laughs> because we were working at the uh the museum where the, that national museum center and we didn't have time really to interact socially i can say that uh, this evening has actually made me to accomplish the reason for coming here because i've interacted better here on one on one i've been able to talk to people we've been able to um, understand one another better and i think that um, this is exactly what is intended to be not just to come and learn learn work work but we should have time to meet each other when we meet next we call each other by our first names and i think ambassador you've made this possible this is great and i want to thank you for that how was that that the good news that um the uh, president was talking about is the fact that uh, the executive secretary of the of uh, parliamentarians for global action came to me and said like uh, she is more or less a nigerian because many many years back <laughs> her father was working in nigeria and indeed in the zone where i come from so when we spoke this morning I, it was a great refreshment of yesterday of her memories of her yesterday and she sees herself by extension as a nigerian and we are very proud that uh, she's doing a great job <laughs> so she just came to me and said look brother next year we're in japan what do you think about coming to nigeria the following year here, here. and i said do you want to touch base <laughs> And she said yes of course uh, for that reason i said to her well definitely we will uh, look into that and favorably consider nigeria hosting the global parliament and the global action after japan yeah, on the 29th forum right okay mm -hmm. so in principles we have accepted to host it subject to ratification by the house but i can assure you that nigeria will be very happy to accept to host this because it's a unique honor and um we will be very happy to have all of you in nigeria in fact um maybe by that time the membership must have increased to a greater number that's right that's, that's your constituency exactly he is the man from the federal capital uh, territory but on a final note let me use this opportunity to say that uh, nigeria is undergoing a lot of reforms and transformation uh, in the past we were perhaps more known with negativity than positivity but today our leadership the national assembly the presidency are working hand in gloves to transform the bad name for good name like it is i've always said to people that there's no way that there are no bad people and there's no way there are no good people it depends on who you meet uh, when they said nigeria is more for, most famous for advanced free fraud i said well it takes two to tango 
you are staying in New York. You have never been to Nigeria. And somebody writes you and says to you, provide me with your account particulars. I'm going to put $5 million there. And you provide the details to him. And maybe he says to you, before that one happens, I need $100,000. And you provide. You are also trying to reap from where it's not so. <laughs> That's right. So we have two criminals, two thieves. Now we have taken appropriate measures to establish legal institutions to fight this uh, bad habit. For example, you must have been hearing about the Economic and Financial Crimes uh, Commission in Nigeria, and uh, there are also we have also have a, what we call a ICPC, ICPC that is uh, dealing with all these uh, corrupt practices. We also have. Um, the code of conduct which has been um, uh, revamped in terms of uh, making the law able to back and bite. And all these legal institutions are supposed to support, are supposed to complement the efforts of the executive you know, in fighting this crime. And you, you must have heard of very highly placed people like the chief of police, the inspector general of police in the whole nation being arrested and prosecuted top ministers being arrested, detained, and prosecuted. Very important people in government. So the anti-corruption war in Nigeria has taken its toll for the good, but it's changing also the image of Nigeria. Today, those of you who are flying to Nigeria, you'll find that each flight that is going to Nigeria from any destination at all is full with people. Nigeria is fast becoming an investment destination. And so I just want to seize this opportunity, you in your capacities as members of parliament, as leaders from various parts of the world, I think it is one of the things that you may know because people may ask you questions. If you say the Nigerian ambassador in Ireland hosted us to dinner and they will begin to ask you so many questions, particularly the negative ones, <laughs> tell them things are changing for guilt. <laughs> On this note, I want to thank all of you for coming because if the invitation was extended and you didn't, and you didn't come, you didn't honor the invitation, we would have had nothing to celebrate. And I'm sure the ambassador would have been left with all the food. Let's just be fair. But uh, you honored the invitation and you've made even a very wonderful one. I want to thank every one of you. We should join the masses. And tomorrow, by the grace of God, you should elect somebody who will move this place, uh, this uh, association forward who will add value to what we are now already enjoying. And I have no doubt in my mind that uh, we are going to elect somebody who is going to lead us to higher heights. Thank you, and thank you. Ambassador, thank you very much. You've done a great job. Say more. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Now can go
on folk of them. On short. <laughs> I'm hunting you with that part. No, well, okay, so tomorrow then, I'm sure before we get I'm coming with you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So the kid. Okay. Well, uh, no, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.